Okay, I grab the system and I do stuff inside the eye. I move it around and go towards the vessel where I want to be. And then I try to puncture it. Once I have safely punctured it, then I can release the system and the robot will automatically hold the needle still. And the robot will make sure that the hand vibrations of the surgeon are completely eliminated. And the surgeon can still decide on any moment where the instrument goes inside the eye. So each year there are 800,000 people around the world that have a disease where a clot is formed inside a retinal vein. A retinal vein is located at the back side of your eye. And because of that clot being there, people are getting blind. And unfortunately, there is no procedure available at the moment that surgeons can use to treat this disease. And surgeons would like to treat it by going inside the eye with a needle and try to inject a drug directly inside that blocked vein to free it again. But the problem is that surgeons cannot do it because these veins are thinner than a human hair. With this system, the surgeon has a auditory feedback on whether he's inside or not. So if he's inside, then you hear a beep tone. But when you double puncture it, then you hear beep beep. You need to develop a technology which is completely MR compatible and that's what we did and we are able to make it very small as well and very fast and accurate so those are really the contribution. We made a technology which is all of plastic and, and pressure air which allows to move a needle very precisely in real time under MR guidance. So what you have is basically you have a needle that you steer it exactly in the same way, but then the tip of the needle can be made very hot or very cold or in other ways so that it kills all the cells around the tip of the needle. So in that way, if you want to, if you see where the tumor is, you navigate to that instead of taking a biopsy, you just kill the cells and you don't even need to, to, to open the, 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 the patient. The patient always is left in anxiety to know the outcome of the results. So what if there is a system which can give you real-time information of all this tissue architect architecture and whether there's cancer or normal or what stage. If you can find everything real time when the patient is there, you can improve the uh, surgical outcome.
standard surgery, you do large incision, which is really invasive for the patient. It's, it, it, it's longer recovery time. So the reason why we want to use uh, this kind of robot is because we can go through natural orifice and perform surgery from the inside. Let's say you need a thyroid surgery. The, the standard approach, they will open you here, a wide opening and work from there, and you will end up with a scar your entire life. With such a robot, you could go from inside and leave no scar at all.